Schlappe took the right decision there really she got some distance on it as well which is key oh Morgan here 1-0 for the USA mistake in that defense and Alex Morgan pounces half an hour gone she scores her 79th game for the United States uh, goal for the United States of America and Canada just unable to clear it. And this is the beauty of a true goal scorer. Morgan, who has been so confident as of late, just needing half a look, knocks that one down, gets a little bit of a window, see a little deflection there on Quinn as well. And Canada's got to be upset about that one because they really had a lot of the run of the play in the first 30 minutes, couldn't get anything out of it. And here now they sit down a goal but what a nice finish by by Morgan given a little bit of a window there because it was Alex Morgan that got that 123rd minute oh. winner in that uh, Olympic classic between these two and they know what she can do that game gosh and boy has it left a a scar on the Canadians and the, and the fan base here that's all they talk about it's uh, O'Hara finding a good ball to Morgan who's worked very hard up there tonight trying to make things happen and it's just a bit of a clumsy challenge that by the defenders giving away a free kick some 25 yards out mm. I don't think that's a free I, kick I don't either I think you just let that go two players battling yeah. just USA one up Opportunism, typical opportunism really from Alex Morgan. Winning a header, buying a little one up. When we return, Julie will break down several teams as we roll towards that 2019 World Cup. Back in a moment, we'll look back on the highlights of the first half, including that goal from Alex Morgan that has put the USA ahead here. But uh, it's no formality here in Vancouver. Back to Vancouver, the US team on their way out for the second half with a 1-0 lead over Canada. It's turf, it's bouncy, it's unsettling. You could see they lacked a little bit of a rhythm there in that first half. And it's constantly on this turf. It, you feel like it's up at your waist. It's tr you're trying to get it down and that gets frustrating as well. But I'm sure the United States was talking about how can we hold the ball, get a bit more rhythm here. Couldn't get it goalwards, back it comes in again from Dal Kemper. Goes an awful long way. Sullivan played in Morgan, twice running blocked. Could have been 2-1 to the US, easily. Sullivan popping it back in to Morgan. Uh, and those are ones that she can get on the end of. What a nice ball in by Sullivan across though. She'll be kicking herself, I think. There's a score on that one. Alex Morgan, suddenly she looks at it again. Easy from up here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ball through to her. Looks fitter now, doesn't she, Alex Morgan? I think in, in the summer, she was still struggling to get full sharpness. Yeah, and I, and I think she was bouncing around with those injuries and struggling to get back from that. And you can see when she's healthy, the damage she can impose on teams. And while that's all going on, Alex Morgan needing a bit of treatment. All the Canadian substitutes are orchestrating the crowd and trying to whip up a bit of a storm. Five minutes remaining, struggling a little bit. Alex Morgan, a bit of a wince from her. Wants to get back out there though. Uh, who've had their noses rubbed in it so many times. Not this time. Fight back. Alex Morgan here. Score of Canada 1. The United States won in what was a fiery, full throttled contest tonight. Some of the Coming up next it'll be Nashon SPN. 
Good night. Thanks for watching. Well, Alex, uh, tell us, a draw or a fair result? What do you think? I mean, I thought Canada handed us a pretty good game. You know, I, I feel like it was back and forth quite a bit. It was extremely physical and aggressive game. Um, the fans definitely showed up. It was great to have a uh, packed house. And, um, yeah, I feel like they, they played well against us. They had a good game plan going into it. So um, I would say it's definitely a fair result. When you look back on what you guys need to do, Alex, what comes to mind first off? First off, I... I just think about chemistry on the field. Uh, I think about the fact that we've had so many different um, starting 11s in the last year or two. And um, I, I think, you know, the team needs to start gelling a little bit better and um, understanding each other's strengths a little bit better, knowing, knowing where each other are a little bit better. It's been a pretty tough year for you ladies, hasn't it? You're playing top 10 teams in the world all the time. Where do you think the U.S. women's team are at the moment? You know, I, I feel like we definitely have one game left to finish off this year. It hasn't been our best year. Um, we haven't had a great record against top 10 teams. Um, so I feel like we, we definitely have some improvement um, to make this next year going into uh, World Cup qualifiers.